Hello, Yvonne Gay Bauer here with my therapy room, and I'm just working on um, <clears throat> my Try It Tuesday uh, challenge over on Karen Birchall's um, Facebook group, and some of the um, prompts were to use metallic paint, use twine, string, or thread junk mail, a space theme, blow paint, and use your own handwriting. So I'm going to do a galaxy theme, I think, but I want to start with a dark Prussian blue. I don't want to start with black, so that's kind of what I'm doing. So I've only, I kind of put down a, an initial layer of the Prussian blue, and I've dried it up. So now I just want to do another layer and just try to get a, a deeper a deeper color and a more even coverage, I guess, than what I've got on here so far. So I'm just applying a, a second layer and trying to keep it as even as I can. I'm hoping this color combination will achieve the effect I'm kind of looking for. I'm add a little bit more water to my brush. Acrylic paint, water is your friend. Not too much, but water is your friend. I probably should have gessoed the page and maybe I could have done this in one layer, but I did not, so two layers it is going to be. A little bit more blue out into my... And quite often what I'll do is I just save, this is just some plastic packaging from, I don't know, something I would have got. And um, I just kind of use that as a, a palette for my paint quite often. Instead of those little, I find those little palettes that you get, you can put like, I don't know, six or eight or whatever colors in to be so tiny that, oops, Trying to keep this as flat as possible here. Oops. So I think I'm going to, of course I've got paint all over me already. Um, so I'm going to pause this and just dry it and just see where I'm sitting. Um, got a second coat on my background. I've got a few brighter colors. Um, I've got a metallic blue and I've got my iridescent medium that I can mix with maybe some of these paints. And um, I probably should put some, a little bit of white down on this page as well, or on this little palette. I'm just using little bits of paint because I don't think I'm going to really need a whole lot, to be honest with you, because a little is going to go a long way, I think, on this page, because I just want hints of these brighter colors for my, um, um, for my galaxy. So I'm going to, I think, First of all, I gotta wet my brush. Oops. So I throw it right in the water. Um, and I just kinda wanna Okay, so, um, sorry, I thought I had the camera on and I didn't. So all I've been doing is just taking my colors, and I have sort of a darker purple and a lighter purple, and I, I keep using this iridescent, and I, I kind of like what it's doing here, and I've just been stippling. I 
if I think it's getting too dark, I just add more of the iridescent in there. And then I kind of come back in with my Prussian blue. Just to blend in those colors to the background. I don't know if you can kind of see what's starting to happen there. But um, I'm kind of bringing in some of the darker after I made it lighter, if that makes any sense at all. So you can kind of see here where I brought in some of the darker and I'm leaving almost like a cloud-like effect on my I'm just bringing it right down back into my background I had there already with my Prussian blue that I painted on. So I'm just trying to figure out spacing for my sentiment here. I found a quote I want to use. So I was just seeing if this um, um, stamp set would work. And so I just took my acetate. Same thing I use when I do my cards. And I've got a how-to video on there. I'll put a link boop, right up there. Um, but it's going to be too big. It's, I'm not going to fit it all in with this font. So this is what I do too. If I don't know, stamp it on a... A sheet and it just wipes right off it's just all I have is just pigment ink so it just wipes right off and even if it was stays on I would just take my rubbing alcohol to it and it would it would wipe off this um, sheet as well okay so I found a um, font that'll work so I'm going to use this one and um, again all I do is I actually use the backing for the stamps <laughs> Um, and that will work. I mean, that's not how I'll space it, but I just wanted to make sure it was going to work on the page, and it will. Okay, so I think that I am done. 
what I did was, and I don't know if you can see that, but I put string around the edge of the page. There we go. Just to frame it, because I needed to have string on it. Oops, I always go the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, I'm calling it done. I don't have junk mail on it, and I really don't know how you would put junk mail on this. Um, but um, this is my page. I'm quite happy with it. So again, thank you very much for coming along on my little journey. Oops, the wrong way again. There we go. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification button. That way you'll get uh, emails when I do upload a new video. Um, oops, sorry. Um, give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you... Uh, if you'd like, and um, again, any suggestions on anything you'd like me to show or explain better, let me know. Leave me a comment. I love to read them, and I do answer all my comments eventually. Um, so yes, thank you very much, and bye-bye.